We have no idea what we're here at Epcot to do, but we are here to have a good time. Sometimes it, it's, it pays to just not have a plan. Just have a good time, and that's what we're here to do. So come with us on this journey and find out what is it that we're here to do. I have no idea, but we're going to see what we can do. We only got two hours before the park closes to get as much done as we can. YouTuber? Yes. So am I. How's it going? Good. How are you? How are you What's your you, channel? You, you live in it right now? I'm live right now. Yes. Hi. I'm on Instagram. Hi. Nice. <laughs> We're at the Noble Way. What's yours? Um, I'm with the Adventure Sergeant and All Ears Net. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All Ears Not Ears Dead. Yes. Yes. That's big time. Yes. yes. That's big time. I just cameoed big time. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. It's good to meet you, yeah. too. Yeah. Thank you so good. much. What were your names again? Uh, Steve and Candy from you The Noble Way. Steve and Candy. Steve and Candy, The Noble Way. The yeah. Noble Way. Check them out. How are you doing? Thank yeah. you. Have a great day. See ya. Okay? okay, so you'll see that I'm inside of the Creation Store, and I have no mask on because Candy and I both Bustedly forgot to bring a mask. What? 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 What were we doing? Like, how many times have we been to Disney? But we literally both left left our masks in the car. So I asked them if we could. I, I, I came in and I said, I need a mask. And they were like, just go ahead and get in line. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So I'm here standing in line very awkwardly, feeling a bit nude here in the face to buy some masks. Wow. <laughs> Did we Samsonite that or what? It's our first time at Disney and we didn't know we needed a mask. No, yeah, clearly. Our first time ever being oh. here. And I'm we trying were, to so fix my bun right now. We were so. at Universal earlier. Don't mind me. We were at Universal earlier and we just, we just, I mean, I don't, I, like somehow we switched that fast <laughs> to like, no masks, we're cool, to came back to Disney tonight and like, no masks. I'm like, um, whoops. So we went in, they were gracious enough to sell us a couple of cool masks. So. Now we have them, but wow. I'm, I'm looking forward to the day when they're not needed though anymore. I mean, I'm all for safety. I, 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 you know, whenever it's safe or whenever Disney feels like it's safe enough for the guests and you know, there's accountability and all that. So I totally get it, but I'm looking forward to when, like Universal, we don't have to worry about these anymore. Um, I'm also looking forward to when COVID gets kicked to the curb. COVID kick to the curb, <laughs> I'm tired of it. Inside the Mexico Pavilion, Look at these cute decorations. And it's cute because it's it's so dark in here that they're all lit up all the time, even in the daytime. All right, we are back in the Mexico Pavilion. We are at La Cava de Tequila in the same exact seat as the last time we were here. Literally the same exact seat. How long do you think we waited? 15 minutes. It was a long line. It was all the way out the door. It was really long, but most of the people that are waiting in line aren't waiting for a table. They're waiting to for the bar. to the bar and leave to go. Um, but we waited for a table and well, we decided let's stop in here because the last time we were here the chips and salsa and the tequila flight were busting. So we wanted to give it another shot and see if it holds up again. But also I'm starving. And I don't know what we're gonna eat for dinner. Maybe it's just maybe it's just chips and salsa, but I'm I'm ready to go. Oh, man, it's loud in here. I feel like everything we've been doing lately has been in the loudest rooms humanly possible. But this lot room was really loud the first time. They have a couple of they have a couple of Christmas wreaths up. So and there's a lot of people in here. Check it out. And for whatever reason, this right here. You see that stand-up table? Both times we've been here, the stand-up table has been the loudest table in the entire room. I'm distracted because I'm confused as to what that is over there. What? Those people that are standing there with a million wine glasses. Is that all for them? What is that? I have no idea. Show it. What is that? I thought I that was know. like a second bar over there. No, I think that's all for them. But I think it's actually like, like some people. It's just a table. Some people that are like. Look right there. See all that stuff? I honestly have no idea. 
complete, definitely an entire, two entire things of sorbet maybe three. I think they're taste. I think they're, taste I think they're tasting every wine in spirit in this entire place. She just did a little dance, so I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. She did. I think like they've been here a while. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I look at what's on that table over there, it's over a thousand dollars and stuff. Like they're they're throwing some money down right now. Otherwise, I have no idea what else this could be was happening. Like Twenty-five, and I thought that was a lot. <laughs> Twenty-five. Uh, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it looks fun. Yeah. It does. Maybe 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 when we're done with the video, we could just like slide over there and be like, Hey, what's up? Hey, it's been a while since we've seen you. What are you doing here? Can I have a little sip? We got the tequila flight again. It was so good last time we had to get it again. By the way, we didn't know we were coming to Disney because we were at Universal all day. Um, that's why I'm not wearing ears. Like, do you guys even recognize me? Yeah, you don't have any ears on. Oh, yeah, mine without my ears on. So. We forgot masks, I forgot ears. Okay. <laughs> Chips and salsa. Popping again. It's good. I mean, they're good. I was craving the chips and salsa. It's honestly the reason why I came in here. It wasn't even for the drinks. I'd just been craving these chips and salsa. And we couldn't get into the restaurant, so I was like, let's just shoot a bar and get some chips and salsa because I'm starving and, and they sounded so good to me. And then while we were here, we're like, whatever, let's we'll see the tequila flight again. It's been a while. So we asked, the, we asked our waiter what was going on with that table that had like $1,000 of alcohol on the table. And, and we had so many stories. We, we had a lot of speculation. I mean, we were, our, our powers of understanding were in full effect. They really were. And then um, we, we could not have been more off. More like, it was the Samsonite of the century. He was like, that's a tequila tasting. It's $150 a person. You can do it on the app. And you can just book it online. And you get two ounces. And I said, I said, how much tequila do you get? He was like, about two ounces. I was like, like two ounces? That's like a shot. And then he's and like, and you get a margarita and some chips and guac. I was like, for a hunt? What? So, so we're going to look into it. We're going to look into it. Because I feel like there's more to it than what he just told us. So we can understand a little bit more about what it was. Because $150, but he said you get 45 minutes at the table. So I think we're going to look a little bit more into it. And maybe we'll update this. We'll update you on what exactly was happening there. But. Whatever was happening there was not even remotely what we thought was happening there. So, really um, really fun wasn't. time had by all. There's a couple there just got engaged. Congratulations to the happy couple. Plus, I have the best view of it that I could possibly have, I see. She said yes. Just take a look in the background there. Do you see that little light spike right there? Yeah, that's the, ch that's the Christmas tree. It's in the front of the World Showcase. Look how far away that is! Like I don't it, even feel like we walked right, that far. Like it's just so, like, you start walking through the World Showcase yeah. and you don't realize, like, how far you walk. Look at the little rinky-dink thing over there. It is a long walk to, through the World Showcase here. I gotta tell you, like, it takes a while to get around. Um, and, and there's a lot of lighting, as you can see, at nighttime. So, yeah. we always got that going for us. But anyway, I always think of that when I look I back there. Why am water. I getting I soaking wet all of a sudden? <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't know if it's raining. I think it's raining now. Yeah, it feels it's like raining. It's like spring. It's definitely raining. No, it's, it's, we're getting we're getting drenched now in the dark. <laughs> all right, so here we are. It started to rain, and I began to fall. <laughs> so we ran into the Impressions de France show with my mask upside down here in france actually she walked in without her mask on at all and the lady had to yell at her but i don't know I, I this is where the beauty and the beast sing along is which i really want to see and i didn't even realize was here we're going to try it at some point but it stops at like 8 30 and becomes the impressions day france and it's it just tripped over so we missed it but i figured it's raining so let's run in here and check it out We'll see if it's any good. I don't even know what it's about. Impressions Day France. I don't think we're going to be allowed to video with this. We'll have to tell you about it later. <laughs> All right, check this theater out here. I don't think I've ever been in here. 
I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what's it. I don't know. I don't know what this show's gonna be like, but we're gonna take a look here. We dodge the rain. It's not raining anymore. We watch the show in France. Yeah. What'd you think of that show? Um, I'm tired now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of put me to. It, it literally almost put me to sleep. It was long. It was like 20 minutes. I feel yeah. like. Um. It might have been 15, but it felt like half an hour. The good news is, is that while we were watching the show. There were some people behind us that were yelling and talking the entire time during the show, so that kept me awake. And didn't have the mask on. Um, so that was that was that was a, that was a bonus. But it was I. It was kind of cool. I mean, I had seen some of those. No, um, it wasn't. It was nice. Be nice. I liked it. It was all right. I, 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 I I've seen a lot of the. I've been we. I've been to Paris. And I've been to France. Um, I, I've been to, what is it, see your underpants? I don't know, <laughs> London, I don't know, whatever it is. I see London, I see London. Um, I yeah. See I've been there, I've taken the train from London to Paris and uh, been over to Disneyland in, Calif in uh, Paris. So I got to see a lot of cool things. So it was kind of cool to see some of the sights again, like the uh, Arc de Triomphe and the uh, Eiffel Tower, obviously, and some of the other areas. But it was cute. It was all right, but it was long, and it was it's kind of late at night, so I was getting a little tired. But like I said, the people yapping the entire time behind us kept us awake. But just so you know, everybody in the World Showcase is always on the side. Don't you think? What, what do you call the side? The... By Canada? Oh, yeah. They are. It's so it's usually Well, I feel like there's usually a lot of people in Mexico. And then from Mexico all the way to the U.S., it's kind of light. And then once you get to the U.S. all the way back to Canada, it's it's, it's, a it's really a zoo, yeah. So, anyhow, we dodged the rain, so that's good. So keep on cruising. We just noticed that the sky is purple over here. I don't know, it looks kind of blue in the video, but it's purple. It's really cute. So one of my pro tips for Disney is that... You always know you're doing it right when you're walking the opposite direction of everyone else. So that's how you know that you're doing Disney the correct way. If you are walking or heading a specific direction and you're going the opposite direction of the crowd, you know you're doing it the right way. Just a pro tip secret. Heading into Soren's standby entrance, 15 it's, minutes. It's so the music that's playing in the background, I don't know if you can hear it. That music is actually from the last Starfighter, way, way, way back in the day. And every time I hear it inside Soren, I always think how crazy that they picked this song to play in Soren. Because Last Starfighter is an old, old sci-fi movie. And every time I hear it, I just think. You know, and it just brings me back nostalgia-wise. I love The Last Starfighter. They're supposed to be making a remake of The Last Starfighter or a sequel or something, but I think COVID put the brakes on that. I don't know if they're still doing it, but Lo I love that movie. It's such a good movie. And I love this music. So anyway, interesting, interesting fact about Soren. So now if you hear this music, you know it's from Last Starfighter. Fun fact about Soren, Patrick Warburton, who actually does the narration which you'll see behind me in a minute. When they did a, when they uh, refurbished this and changed it from Soarin' Over California to Soarin' Across the World, basically, the new rendition of it, he didn't even know that they kept him as the narrator until after it relaunched. He thought he was actually getting replaced and they were gonna come up with a new narration. But they actually kept him in and then after he saw it, he realized they kept him in here and they just scrubbed his lines and took out the references to Soarin' Over California, so. Kind of cool because I love him. I actually love him as an actor and I'm super jazzed that they kept him in here for the narration because It's one of my favorite parts of the show 
is the free show with Patrick. He's just such a cool actor. I love him. I started to fall in love with him back when he was the original uh, live action Tick, the guy, the, the character that played the Tick. He was the actor. Anyway, he's a totally cool actor. There Hello. he is. Welcome, Sora. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief life after death. We'll be getting bored in a few minutes, but I'd like to explain to you what's up. I'll save you information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat. Let's go all three items in the undersea department. Some clues, cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Ha! <laughs> That's the greatest line. We are about to take off on Soren. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Hey, we had a birthday. Two birthdays. That's a first for me, singing uh, Happy Birthday before Soren Ride takes off. That's the camaraderie and love of Disney. Woo Here we go. Two minutes to spare! Two minutes to spare. Park closes in two minutes. We made it. Make it, make it, make it. Run, run, run. Yes. Uh, the, the Christmas lights are out in the land. Look how cute it is.
Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. I love the Christmas lights. Love the Christmas lights. We're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. You see the Mickey up there. The little hidden, the sort of not hidden, but and then there's another one over there, at the top. There's some, got some ornaments hanging right there. Check this out. Happy holidays from living with the lamb. For its signature taste, other spices like ginger and vanilla add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the lamb's many gifts. Look, there's like giant stockings hanging down. And it's the, it, it has names on each of the stockings. Nicole, Dolores, Monty, Seal, Les, and Mark. I'm guessing those are the scientists that work in there. I'm going to assume those are the scientists, maybe, or Imagineers or something that work in there. So that's cute. Look at this little setup here. Ooh, that drink right there looks good, and those cookies on that plate. I want those. I love sugar cookies with icing. That's my jam. We got off Soren and then we jumped on Living with the Land really quickly. Literally. And <laughs> I, I was going to say this after Soren, but we had to run straight to the land so I didn't get to. But, and I have ridden Soren like hundreds of times, I'd say at least. And I've now decided that apparently it has become a thing to have full conversations. <laughs> during the entire ride. The entire ride. Because I am not exaggerating when I say like 80% of the time that I ride Soren, there is somebody very near me, maybe not right next to me, but someone near me that is literally having a full on conversation. So I don't know what that's about. I don't, what, I don't know what you could be, I don't really know what you're talking about on Soren. But I just find that interesting. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, I just, I don't know, what are people talking about on Soren that's so interesting? The that, entire time. The whole time. Like, it's like a full <laughs> conversation. And sometimes it's in English and I can't understand it. Sometimes it's in another language and I can't understand. But, but I, and with masks, I really can't understand what's being said. But, like, I'm always like, what, what is, what's, what are you talking about? So, I don't know. 
I think it's a thing. And then, ironically, on Living With The Land, the people behind us on that ride were having a full-on conversation. The whole time. The whole time. So, um, again, it doesn't really bother me. It's not like I need silence or anything to ride the ride and enjoy it, but I just find that interesting. I don't know what it is, because I feel like it didn't used to be that way. No. And then it's just all of a sudden, it's... I don't know. It's a so. <laughs> apparently, there's a lot of interesting things to talk about on the rides. All right. Okay, so we shut the place down. We shut the place down so much so that the Epcot ball died. So it it it, it said it, it, off. it said we're turning the Epcot ball off. Like, go home. Go home. <laughs> uh, so we don't even have like a cute little backdrop for our closing. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. We, yeah. we and so we had we had about two hours. We had no plan. <laughs> Uh, we didn't know what we were going to do. We just figured we'd breeze in. Let's see what we get done in two hours. And I feel like we did a lot. And most of the time, we waited in line for the Mexican um, uh, bar to grab the chips and salsa. Oh, it's lighting back up again. So, um, but I mean, we, we, got the, we got the tequila flight. We got some chips and salsa. We hung out at the Mexican pavilion. We did a little shopping there. We went and saw a French movie. <laughs> which definitely was 30 minutes of time that I wish we had back. <laughs> but um, it, it got it, but it was raining and it got us out of the rain, but that counts, that counts. Um, then we rode Soarin', we rode Living With The Land, we chucked yeah. out the Land Pavilion. Um, we, got, really we got did. to see the Epcot Ball, little shows at the end there. Uh, we did skip the fireworks, but like we got a lot of stuff done with no plan in two hours. So it just goes to show you, you can get a lot done in yeah. these parks if you just, you know... Oh, and we walked around the entire World Showcase. So, we chuck out some of the Christmas decorations, the tree, everything. So, two hours, you can get a lot of stuff done. And it's um, and it's a weekend. So, it's yeah. it, it, this is like the most crowded it is. So, anyhow, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us. Cute little Epcot ball in the background to sign off to. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, thanks for joining us. It's been a great time. We hope you've liked this video. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow for another one. So until then, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.